Are you tired of struggling to build your wealth while constantly getting hit with hefty taxes? What if we told you there's a way to legally accumulate massive wealth and pay little to no taxes? In this video, we'll reveal the secrets to building wealth without sacrificing your hard-earned money to the government. Get ready to learn how to keep more of what you earn and take control of your financial future. The more money you make, the more taxes you pay right. Not necessarily. Despite the US tax code being designed to ensure that individuals with higher incomes pay a greater tax rate, the ultra-wealthy frequently utilize legal loopholes to reduce their effective tax rate. Billionaire Warren Buffett, the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, has been vocal about the tax disparity issue, advocating that affluent Americans should pay higher taxes. He famously drew attention to the fact that he pays a lower tax rate as a percentage of his income compared to his secretary and other employees, owing to the majority of his wealth being tied up in stocks rather than wages. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to watch our latest videos as soon as they are released. While the ability of the wealthy to decrease their taxes is not a new phenomenon, there has been a recent surge in calls for the rich to contribute more. Senator Elizabeth Warren, who represents Massachusetts and recently launched her campaign for the 2020 Democratic presidential nomination, has proposed a yearly 2% tax on households with assets over $50 million and 3% on households with assets over $1 billion. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez from New York is pushing for a 70% marginal tax tax rate on income over $10 million. Meanwhile, independent Senator Bernie Sanders from Vermont is examining an estate tax increase. It's a heated topic that raises important questions about the responsibility of the ultra-wealthy to contribute to society and whether the tax code should be restructured to reflect that. The ultra-wealthy are constantly on the lookout for ways to minimize their tax bills, and they did not leave it until the last minute. According to CPA Lisa Fethingen, a member of the American Institute of CPAS Personal Financial Planning Executive Committee. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, which was signed into law in late 2017, brought down the tax bracket on the highest earners, but it still takes a large chunk out of a billionaire's wallet. Comment finance if you would like us to make more videos like this in the future. This is where a little tax planning can go a long way. To ensure that their assets are protected, the rich explore the possibilities of categorizing their assets assets into three tax location taxable, tax-deferred, and tax-free. It is an idea worth considering if you want to lower your taxes like the wealthy do. So if you want to learn how the wealthy manage to bring down their taxes and protect their assets, it might be a good idea to speak with a financial advisor or CPA. With careful planning and strategic investments, you could potentially save a substantial amount of money on your taxes, just like the ultra-rich. Number one, charity. For the wealthy, giving money to nonprofit organizations organizations is not just about doing good deeds but also a way to reduce their taxes. And with the new tax law, the deduction limit has increased to 60% of adjusted gross income from 50%, making it an even more attractive option. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you've watched it all the way through now, as it inspires us to create more engaging content just like this. But some of the super rich are taking it to the next level, creating conservation easements to make the most of the deduction. With conservation easements, Wealthy landowners work with land conservation trusts to donate the development rights to their property. In return, they receive a tax deduction for the value of the easement. It's a clever way to support a good cause and reduce tax bills at the same time. However, for the average taxpayer, taking a deduction for charitable contributions is not as straightforward. They must itemize their taxes, and with the increased standard deduction, it can be a challenge to meet the threshold for itemization. So while charitable giving is an excellent way to support good causes, the tax benefits are not always easy to realize for everyone. Number two, increasing your exposure to equity while also managing the gains. The rich love stocks because they offer lower taxes than wage income and they can afford to take risks. Federal tax brackets on wages range from 10 to 37 percent, 
while long-term capital gains tax rates can be 0, 15 or 20 percent depending on your income. Wealthy individuals also strategically manage their capital gains and losses to maximize tax advantages such as investing in opportunity zone programs to defer capital gains. And these are strategies that anyone can employ regardless of their income. Number 3. Running your portfolio like a company. Consider setting up a limited liability company LLC to manage your investments, real estate, or business. Though it may sound complicated, it can potentially create a structure that saves you money while providing governance for your assets. By creating an LLC as a management company that provides oversight and advice to asset owners, the expenses incurred by the LLC may be deductible as business expenses under certain circumstances, according to top CPA firms. Number 4. Exemptions for Estates and Gifts How to significantly reduce your taxable income with gift and estate deductions, and why it's more important than ever to take advantage of them. The new tax law has temporarily doubled the deductions, allowing individuals to claim up to $11.18 million compared to the previous limit of $5.29 million. But this exemption is set to expire by the end of 2025, so the clock is ticking. The wealthy are already making the most of this opportunity by setting up long-term trusts, such as the Delaware Dynasty Trust, which enables them to pass wealth down to future generations. Although the trust is subject to income taxes along the way, it will not be taxed as a gift if it meets the limit, and it will not be subject to estate tax when money is withdrawn. Number 5. Pension Plan with Defined Benefits Discover how a defined benefit plan can help high net worth individuals set aside substantial amounts of tax-deferred money for retirement, well above the limits of a traditional 400 and onic, with the potential to contribute over $200,000 a year. This option is particularly attractive to successful business owners looking to maximize their tax savings. Not only does a defined benefit plan reduce your taxable income, but it can also help you qualify for the 20% qualified business income deduction, which has limitations under the new tax law. However, it's important to note that this option may not work for every high-income business owner. It's crucial to assess whether a defined benefit plan fits both your retirement savings goals and business operational needs. If not, alternatives such as an SCP IRA, simple IRA, or 400 and onic may be a cheaper and more effective way to save and reduce your tax bill. Take control of your financial future by exploring all your options and finding the best fit for your unique circumstances.